aliens exist. I have the proof. It's right here. What's up gamers? Welcome back to the Game Strain. This is Wyan here with you again. So the week vacation that I went on kind of turned into a two week vacation. Sorry about that. Uh, I just got back from the vacation a little bit later than I thought I was going to. I got back on Tuesday rather than Monday, so I wasn't able to do the Monday video. And then I just had a hard time getting back into the swing of things. Also, I had a pretty heavy workload with my main job, so I wasn't able to get the Friday video out last week either. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, so while I was gone, let's see, we had the release of Resident Evil 7 that came out last week. Um, so, going to be talking about a little bit about that and you know i got a little gameplay going on behind me right now but we'll get to that in a little bit towards the end of the video right now i just wanted to cover a little bit of the trip that i went on just so you guys could know what i went and did i just went on a trip from where i live here in texas all the way to california around palm springs area and then kind of came back and i just sort of made the u-shape um and just kind of stopped a long a lot of ways uh, a lot of places along the way i did stop at a lot of comic shops which might interest you um so i picked up some pretty sweet statues and i went to one really sweet one in albuquerque that was called astro zombies that i'd never been to before that i've got some footage here rolling um, behind me they had some awesome murals they also had some really sweet stuff on the ceiling where uh various famous comic book artists and uh, writers uh let's see he said robert kirkman josh whedon other people had all been in there that all kind of signed their name up on their ceiling and did a little doodle of some sort that was kind of cool they also had just a lot of sweet figures and comics um i stopped at some other places like maximum comics golden apple comics secret headquarters um i'm just going to try and show some little bits of those i also picked up uh three really sweet statues while I was going to these various comic shops. I got a really nice Hulkbuster statue that has some pretty sweet detailing on it. Um, it's just an awesome statue. I mean, I kind of dropped a little bit of money on that one, but it's actually, it's supposed to, I don't think it's really being in production anymore, so it's kind of rare, I guess, now. It makes it a little bit cool, but I mostly just got it because it looks so sweet. You can actually put the helmet down on him, or you can have it up, but I like to leave it up just because you get to see all the detail on Tony Stark's face. Um, but it's really sweet piece and I also got a uh, zombie Mysterio um, which was never really necessarily my favorite uh, villain from Spider-Man but I do remember him from the animated series mostly as being like that anyway um, but he, this is the Marvel zombies version of him so he's a zombie Mysterio I just really like the figure I thought it looked awesome it almost reminded me of something from Mars Attacks <laughs> and then I also got a pretty sweet uh, Magneto statue that looks sort of like almost like the Michael Fassbender uh, version of Magneto I don't know kind of like the X-Men first class or something like that he just doesn't I don't know I think it's the black and silver I'm more used to like the red maroon uh but it was it was relatively cheap and it was at the uh i got that one at the golden apple um i got the iron man at astro zombies and then the marvel zombies um figure for mysterio i actually got that one at maximum comics when i was in las vegas and then the other one the Miss magneto statue came from uh la yeah when i was in los angeles uh yep and that one came from Golden Apple Comics. So I had a really great time. I also did a little bit of camping in there. So yeah, I had a really awesome time. It was a great break just from work. Not really so much from YouTube because I haven't been doing it that long. But it was mostly just a great break from my day job. Um, so it was nice to get out, get a little bit of break, get just some perspective on life. And also just see some really awesome stuff. Um, so I had a great time. But now I'm back. And let's get into some gaming, which is what we're all here for, right? So a little bit of Resident Evil 7 action that I got going on. I haven't played this game too much. I've been having some strange technical issues. Maybe in the comments you could let me know if you're having the same problem because this is a problem that I had. It was running perfectly fine, like butter smooth. My computer was doing just fine with it. And then I'd say I got like two to five, two point five hours into it, maybe three, and then it started to get really choppy all of a sudden. I was like, "What the fuck?" So I installed a, a graphics uh, driver update update for for my graphics card um, through Nvidia, and that seemed to help a little bit. And then there was also an update that came through Steam for the actual game Resident Evil Seven. That seemed to help a little bit also. I really love the visuals in this game. It definitely has a very like. Texas Chainsaw Massacre feel to it. There's plenty of reviews and whatnot out for it if you need to see more about this game. So I'm probably not going to be covering it too much more. I might do a little bit uh, more footage for it in the next video for Friday. But 
I haven't really decided. I'm actually kind of looking at this game called Conan Exiles uh, that's going to be coming into early access, I believe, and sometime tomorrow, or it says eight hours from currently the time that I'm recording this video, so I don't know exactly when it'll be out. Um, but, well, I guess I do. It says, I just said that it's eight hours, so I do know exactly where it's coming, when it's coming. So... Um, yeah, Conan Exiles looks pretty cool. I don't know, but it's another early access survival game because it could be absolute complete shit. <laughs> so, because I've played so many of these games, I don't know why I keep buying them. If it's if it's if it's over thirty dollars, I'm not gonna get it because if for some reason they don't have a price mentioned for it on uh, Steam right now. So, yeah, I don't really know how much it's gonna cost. But anyway, um, really having fun with Resident Evil Seven, and I I do recommend it. I kind of wanted to get it for the PlayStation VR. But I ended up not because I don't have the, the PlayStation VR. And, it, and I felt silly just buying the whole VR set just to get that. Because I wasn't, I don't know. Here's my thing on VR. I really feel like it's cool. But all the peripherals for it right now are a little bit overpriced for what they do. Even the PlayStation 1. Because the PlayStation VR is probably the most modestly priced. And gets you some pretty good performance out of it. But I don't know. If I mean, if you look at the, the Oculus and then the HTC... They're just so expensive. I'm honestly just kind of waiting for like the second generation of these is what I'm really hoping for is try and get, pick up the VR thing once the second generation comes out. It's a little bit more consumer friendly, uh, a little bit more accessible. They've ironed out a lot more of the kinks because it does seem cool, but there's not, I don't know. Um, I I do see these, these videos and whatnot and uh, footage for VR and I'm like, oh, why don't I have a VR set yet? What am I doing with my life? But... I might get one eventually, I don't know. But I hear that Resident Evil 7 is really sweet in VR. If you're playing in VR, then maybe leave a comment down below. Maybe let me know what you think of it. But uh, otherwise, probably going to be seeing you here on Friday. I think we're going to wrap it up with that. Uh, yeah, probably Conan Exiles for the next video, but I'm not really positive. I might have something else for you. So be sure to check back. We're always going to have uh, two videos a week for you here on the game stream, Monday and Friday. So apologize that I wasn't here for the past couple weeks, but it was just the whole vacation and everything that I explained. is <laughs> a little charming and getting back it really was this past week was just kind of hectic and crazy so anyway uh i'm happy to be back we're gonna see you here on friday on the game stream so we'll see you then <laughs>